Today on You Make It, We Shoot It, Shotgun Slugs Designed by a Team of Scientists. Coming all the way from Helsinki, Finland, are some polycarbonate 3D printed shotgun slugs. We were sent three different types. The first one is just solid polycarbonate and it kind of resembles a modified teardrop shape. The second type has sort of a split fin design and a small amount of lead in the nose. And finally, the one I'm really excited about is the one with a tungsten pellet inside the nose, giving it much more weight than the other two types. Hello, I'm Mario and I'm a scientist from Finland. As a fan of Jeff's YouTube channel, I had an idea on how to promote my research a bit. So I decided to design 3D printable slugs where a tungsten pellet could be inserted during printing. And with the help of my friend and colleague Marcus, I did just that and sent uh, the slugs to Jeff, who will hopefully have fun shooting them. And uh, hopefully he will link back to the uh, video abstract of our research. The slugs are made from polycarbonate, so they should be very tough. Mario and his team would be very happy if you check out their videos on the microreactor and also how they made these slugs. In order for these projectiles to be successful, they must be strong enough to withstand the nearly 10,000 Gs of force during acceleration. If they can survive just leaving the barrel in one piece, the shape and balance of the projectile has to be just right to be able to fly at very high speeds of over Mach 1.5. It's a very challenging project. Good luck. All right, welcome back, Talflator folks. Jeff and the OG here back with you. Today we're shooting some uh, polycarbonate rounds sent to us from actual scientists in Helsinki, Finland. And you might be able to see right there, this polycarbonate round was 3D printed. These guys put a lot of science behind this. So we're gonna put a whole lot of effort by, uh, behind shooting these things downrange. The first three shots will be these unweighted slugs loaded into these federal birdshot shells. This should send these flying at a speed of around 1,200 to 1,300 feet per second. I'm ready. Wow. Wow. Accurate and almost no recoil. One of the cooler things ever seen here on TFM, this round planted itself right in Doug's vest. I was worried these would not be strong enough just based off other uh, 3D printings. Look at that. Let me get a close up of that. A few fish, a little cracks in it. Um, unfortunately, our high speed camera trigger did not work. It wasn't my fault, it was the trigger's fault. I'll shoot slower next time. Yeah. But uh, apparently flying very straight. Let's, let's shoot another one it's just so we can get it on high speed. And pretty damn accurate too. I know, it's, it shot, it, like most things that are light shoot a little bit high, right? And as you would expect, it punched a hole in the outer carrier, a hole right through the inner carrier, and just kind of embedded itself right up against the Kevlar. Of course, it did not penetrate the Kevlar in any way, but <laughs> plugged itself that's, right That's in looking there. good, it's looking great so far. It's pretty cool. They're scientists, dude. Yeah. They know what they're doing. Yeah. They're and it's right next to the other one, right? Yep. Pull that sucker out of there. One. See that little marking on it? Look at that, right next to the Half other one. Half an inch left. <laughs> Dead center hit. I'll tell you what, that design, as far as flight goes, is probably right on. We've I don't think we've had a uh, design exactly like this before. We have kind of similar ones like the dumbbell ones which was a double ended one but this having that flat design and it looked like it flew like a very stable arrow through the air and you can see it's a little bit of damage from the impact but no damage back here yeah from the shot it's weak spot yeah yeah very good very that's good like a, yeah that's like a chest pawn yeah <laughs> yep yep I expected a lot of stability issues with these unweighted slugs. And remember, these only weigh about 5 grams. It's relying on that unique shape, that shape we really haven't seen before in slugs, 
but it's working out extremely well. Okay, we're about 35 yards or 30 meters away. We'll see if this uh, unweighted one will be as promising as the others. When you're ready. Oh, it hit the panel. I, I saw it hit the panel. But its little waistline is staying intact. That's what's yeah. Cool. That's the that's the important thing. The weak spot right through there is solid. As hell. One thing to bear in mind is this slug only weighs about twice as much as a ping pong ball, and it's going 30 meters and remaining quite stable. It only missed by inches, but that flight was still extremely impressive. We'll now move on to the 8.8 .8 gram lead core slug with the split fins. We'll take that same 30 meter shot and see how it performs. Okay, I'm ready. These were loaded with 31 grains of long shot, a custom load. It's possible that that tail design was just weak and we had some damage to it, which threw off its ballistics. It okay, moved a little closer, about 20 yards away. There we go. So we had these stacked this direction, just like that with Wonder Woman facing forward. Round came through here and zipped right through the edge of the Dr. Pepper can, top of the Sprite can, flattened them both, and then entered our little bulletproof panel here, the lead tip at least. Unfortunately, the split tail design just was not strong enough to handle those high G loads. And when we lost the tail, we lost pretty much all stability. Just the nose of the slug continued on, and that's why it was not as stable and accurate. Smoke, smoking pot and coke. <laughs> and coke, yes. Fire! Wow. Destroyed. Still, did you hear how long it was raining down? Yeah. That's crazy. Wow. Yeah, inside we had a couple uh, soda cans, and it went right, right through that one. So don't do coke and pot at the same time. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yes. Once again, we lost most of the tail, and we lost that pinpoint accuracy we saw in those earlier shots. Now bear in mind, we were pushing these things hard. This thing was reaching around 1,800 feet per second or about 550 meters per second. Had we load these things up a little lighter, we probably would have seen them hold together much better. Now we'll test the tungsten cord slugs with two different types of powder, a fast burning E3 and the slow burning long shot. You ready? Yep. All right, here we go, white dot. White dot, yep. long shot. Well, there we go. Hear that sucker? Yep. Well, there we go. Using the slower burning long shot powder, we were able to reduce the initial G shock while maintaining the high velocity of around 1800 feet per second. We're pushing these at the same speed as the split tail design, but because we have that solid base, it's holding together with over three times the amount of ballast that we had in the lead tip slugs. Now that's impressive. It did not go through, but it, I, I think he landed very close to the taper right on it. Found that tape about five feet back on the dirt. A little splash and then because of the angle we had it at here. Yeah, we didn't want it coming right back at us. Operator and... safety, it uh, splashed off to the right. So. OG can't shoot, and the red dot shotgun is always off. So that shows that that shit is uh, lined up there pretty close. That was a flat spot too there. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> Where did that go? Using that faster burning E3 powder, we had a catastrophic failure. Nothing left but the wadding flying towards the target. But this is a good example of how different powders with different burn rates yield completely different results. All right, I'm ready. Wow! Lucky for me, I 
loaded some of these with the right powder and the right quantity of power to be able to really show off how impressive these slugs were in flight. Using that polycarbonate fill, which I understand is a very difficult material to work with, these guys made these slugs not only strong enough to shoot out of a shotgun, but shoot out of a shotgun at a very high velocity and stay together. And that unique shape that we really haven't seen before performed beautifully. I just want to remind you to check out their research videos and the video on how they made these slugs. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We had a lot of fun making it and they just blew our socks off. Thanks for watching.